Parasite Dolls is another show set in the wonderful Borgum Crisis universe. It is perhaps the most serious show in that universe as it takes its subject matter far more realistic. Not to say that other shows lack in any way, but this show feels a lot more like Ghost in the Shell or Blade Runner. Takeishi leads Branch, a special division of the AD police, which is made up of a very different set of individuals, but they all work together great. Recon Michelson, the Branch rookie member, she loves to use the big boys toys in terms of weapons, generally a loud mouth and in your face. Myers, the computer genius, if you need something hacked, this is the guy for the job. And then Angel, the beautiful, charming undercover agent. This leaves the other two members of Branch, Buzz, the central character of the show, whose past actions makes him refuse to use guns, and his partner, a boomer called Kimbo. In case you don't know, boomers in the Bubblegum Crisis universe are synthetic human life forms, mostly created by the Genome Corporation. Branch are dealing with some kind of new drug on the street that affects boomers, although after some detective work they come to realise that Genome, the corporation that produced boomers, is somehow behind this new drug. What are their motives and implications of that? Well, I'll leave that for you to find out for yourself when you watch it. Parasite Dolls, unlike Bubblegum Crisis or AD Police, focuses way more on the detective side of things. There is action, but not much. I will say when it does happen, it is all very good. As you can imagine being in the Bubblegum Crisis universe, Branch end up coming up against some really interesting mechanical designs. There's this thing one of our characters picks up and as soon as you see it, you think to yourself, there's something way off key about that thing, which I'm trying not to give away here, but later on it becomes something even I didn't see coming. The main villain of the show is quite a twisted individual, I mean some of the stuff he says you can see where he's coming from but his actions, well they say actions speak louder than words and that's certainly true here, the stuff he does is messed up. Parasite Dolls is a very gritty cyberpunk show which is definitely aimed at adults with its strong plot and themes around humanity, on top of its quite graphic nature in parts. Some characters do get what you might call the short end of the stick, but overall it's still a captivating watch. From an artistic point of view, Parasite Dolls uses some very vivid camera shots to paint a scene, a lot of silhouettes and different light effects and angles help create a very cyberpunk noir feel. It also uses some 3D animation, but since it was stylized, it has aged quite gracefully and it still looks slick as it was used for an action scene. This is a very good sign of the direction given by the creative team behind this. All in all, this is a very well crafted piece of art. I will never get tired of listening to Crystal K's opening theme song to Parasite Dolls titled Get On The Beat. It's a soul filled song that paints the picture of the world you're about to visit without even seeing it yet. The rest of the soundtrack is electronic dance music mixed with a bit of jazz. Some of it just sounds really haunting too. It all just really fits perfectly with the animation which is some lovely 90s 2D animation with a great art design. Parasite Dolls is certainly one of my favourite cyberpunk animes, and if you like something like Standalone Complex or Blade Runner, then I think you will enjoy this too. As always, thanks for watching and catch you next time.